Hey guys, this is Rebecca here with Create with Rebecca, and today I'm back with a, a prompt, a journaling uh, page that I want to do. I really have no idea where I'm going with this, other than the fact that I want to do a journaling page about being ready for fall. I, um, I've mentioned all through my Instagram, I live in Texas, it's super hot at this point in the season. We are, I am, I know um, I have a friend of mine that loves summer and just doesn't even want to think about it ending, but I am not a person that loves the hot, so I'm ready for fall. So I basically, um, I, I wanted to show you real quick because I know I've been posting quite a bit on Instagram and I wanted to, and I know I've introduced a different kind of plant, um, travel notebook inserts that I carry and this is a one which I need to go ahead and kind of complete it up because this is for um, this is for my uh, summer journaling and so um, and I use it as a scrapbook and so uh, yeah I'm ready for fall so um, I do have some pictures um, I did do a video on this but I kept getting interruptions and it just did not turn out so I didn't even post it I just posted the picture on Instagram and Facebook so anyway I need to finish up this um, planner fairly quickly here because I would like to go ahead and create another one for September so to begin the fall season so that is the one that I carry with uh, where I really kind of document pictures and this is more for like my uh, journaling that I do for like writing and I just kind of want to show you real quick flip through and this is where I post a lot of the pictures on Instagram but it's um, it's more and less for um, this one I'm still needing to journal about um, but it's uh, it's more or less just like I create the page and then I post the picture and then I write in it uh, later so <clears throat> that was yesterday I still need to write in it and this is today but I wanted to go ahead and create one about me getting ready for fall I'm ready for a change in the season and so I thought I would do it on video one of the techniques I wanted to show on my last video with my with on with the one with my son and his birthday I basically I sprayed these using a stencil so this was the stencil I used um, it's a Bowser design and then I used this um, delusion spray ink and basically I took a piece of watercolor paper and I just sprayed um, the different you know designs on there and then I punched it out so I'm going to use some of this paper in my uh, journaling prompt today and then I'm also going to um, use some other watercolor watercolor paper so this is this is just plain white water paper watercolor paper and I'm gonna get my watercolor out and basically ugh, sorry I, I use a journal in the morning and so I haven't changed my water out I know it's in the evening just pretend that you don't see yucky watercolor water there <laughs> so um, but anyway I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to create a um, a page using watercolors uh, for a base and then I'm going to punch that out and then put it into my journal so I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to dab this off here and just casually come in and do some autumnal colors so I'm thinking like some orange and browns and yellow actually I have the yellow Oops. Um, I have my yellow so I'm not going to worry about doing some yellows but I'm just going to come in here and literally just kind of make them you know have fun with the paintbrush water and you know do some darker um, shades and then after I do this I'm gonna let this dry and I'll show you um, my other plan I am um, I'm also going to be doing some stamping and basically oh, I there's a town here in central Texas I guess it's kind of closer uh, I want to say central it's north of Austin it's called Salado and we went there one time me and my sisters and everybody and we found the cutest little stamp store and there's a local company that's called uh, let's see if I can figure out his name real quick um, oh deadbeat designs and we um, anyway uh, the whole it, they just had a whole bunch of uh, different designs kind of like 
Texas theme too. And so I bought some, um, I bought some, I bought the stamp from him that I'm going to use. And I was thinking about it earlier. I didn't know whether I was going to video today, but I definitely am trying to do at least one or two videos a week. And I thought about that stamp and I thought about fall and I'm like, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to go out to the studio and I'm going to get creative. Um, it always makes me feel good and, and I'm ready to do some really cute fall designs. Okay, I think I'm going to do another like darker brown for the final, I haven't used this darker brown in my, um, in my paint, this watercolor paint, so this is kind of new. So again, then again, I'm just really getting messy, you know, just messy paint, but it sure is pretty. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to let that dry. I'm just going to set it aside here. Then I'm going to get my page. And sometimes I like to put backgrounds, you know, especially if, if the page underneath it ha is quite, you know, like if it's bled through or something like that. But this is works just fine. And usually I kind of come in here and do like a border. Um, but I have a, this vision in my head and I don't know if it's going to work or not. I actually wanted to do the stamp on this side. But I think with this bulkiness underneath, it may not stamp out as well. And I, usually I'm not too picky about the stamps, but this one in particular, I really am wanting it to come out because it's going to be a tree. And this is the Deadbeat Designs. You can see I paid $12.99 for this stamp. But I bought it several years ago, and I wish I would have looked. If, if the shop is still online, I will, I'll will look it up on the, on the computer when I um, download this and see if they're still um, around because it was a great store. Um, I'm gonna, I didn't bring out my brown stamp pad, so give me just a second and I'm gonna get that real quick. Now one of the viewers came and told me that, I don't know how well this is, I've had these stays on for a while, but she gave me a great tip that you can actually go onto Amazon and um, I'm doing a test here. You can actually go onto Amazon and buy a reinking. So I definitely let me just get a piece of paper here. I want to. I'm just testing this out to see. It still works pretty good. So I'm going to do that instead of buying the whole big eight dollar or I think that's how much it stays on ink pad runs. Maybe I can just buy the re-inking, um, re-inking for the, for the pads. I'm going to do a test run first on this ink pad. I guess I should have done this before on camera. Hey, looks pretty good. I like it. So I'm going to go in here and just add one to my actual journaling page. So I know I've already got out my pumpkin stamps. Um, I don't know if y'all saw my... I started my sneak peeks yesterday of my for my kit, my upcoming stationary planner kit, and it is of course I'm so excited about. It. It's called Pumpkin Spice. Yay! I'm so happy that tree turned out really, really good. So, but I got this cute little stamp. It's so cute. It's a little uh, coffee mug, and so I'm so excited to be using it in my journaling and on my planner pages so okay so I have this ready and basically what my thought process is I was going to come in here and I really wanted to um, make it seem fallish so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use my Faber Castle uh, brush pens and I'm just gonna come in here and add some dots to it and I've got yellow brown and red and I think I have an orange. I have to look and see if I have an orange over there. If not, we will um, we'll find something that can be used. So I'm just actually just adding dots to fill in the tree. I'm making it seem more like that leaves have fallen, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a moment. But I don't want to. I've done pages where I've covered up all the branches, and I love this stamp so much that I really want. Um, the branches to shine through. Now I think if you don't have 
access to a tree stamp that you could easily create one just with paint. You could, you know, draw a stick and draw some branches off of it. So I think that would be fairly easy too. I've got this kind of magenta, it's called magenta, and then I've kind of got this cinnamon. Um, but I might not have an orange. Oh wait, I think I see it shiny. Oh, there it is. Uh, these pins are fairly kind of pricey, but this one I knew I've been using for a while. The tip is real used, um, but they last a long time, and they are some of my favorite markers to have. Okay, let me make it a little bit fatter over there. So then I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to add some little uh, dots down here to show that actually, you know, leaves are falling. That's what's really cute is about that, um, I guess I can, I found a canvas and that's probably why this has been on my mind a while back. Seems like I need more red over here too. Okay, so there's my tree. Um, I'm gonna set this aside for now. I'm gonna show you that tree I was just talking about. Let me see. So when I first got this stamp, I'm, this is a little canvas I made, and I basically did the tree stamp, but what I was saying is I bought this little thin stamp at the same time, and these little birds right here, I don't know if you can see them, but it was so cute. And um, But anyway, my, my daughter was like, oh mom, remember when you did this? And uh, I had it sitting on the table over there, and that's probably why that tree stamp has been on my mind. Um, and of course, for fall, I feel like my tree's kind of fat on the left-hand side here, like it's, you know. But it's it's fun. It's for my little, it's for my journaling page. So I'm going to set this aside. And what my plan is is I want to I want to make little leaves out of this um, inked paper. Let's see how they turned out. Aren't those done? They turned out really cute. See that you can just really see the different kind of markings in there from the uh, from the, the ink. And so I'm going to use those. Let's see that watercolor paper. Yep. It's so hot here. You know, my studio's in the garage. I always have a fan going. But the good news is everything dries like crazy out here. So you don't ever have to really worry in the summer about your paintings and your artwork not um, not drying. Okay, so we got that. Let's see what other colors. I feel like there's it's lacking. And then you can always come in here and use, like I just have this yellow sitting out here, but if you wanted to come in and just add some different um, papers in here as well. Let's see what else I got. I did see something down here that I could use, like this color here. This reminds me of fall, but if I wanted to come in here and add some of those, I could. Let's see what it looks like. Well, I'm not too crazy about those, so I'm just going to set those aside. Let me see what other colors I I could use. I think I need to do some more brown in here. Okay. How does that look for a combination? Look good? I think so, too. So, I'm going to come back over to my journaling page, and my, my idea... I'm going to remove this little um, cute pen paper clip is I want to kind of like casually kind of act kind of come in here like they're blowing in the wind these little these little leaves but leave enough room for journaling that's what I've always got to keep in mind because I want to use this as a journaling page so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add like go ahead and add my title over here and this is typically just like a little cluster of papers and I'm going to use some of these fall themed papers that I put inside 
junk journals and um, oh cute I have a little autumn tag oh, this is I love this this is so cute so I just do that um, I'm just kind of looking in here just to see oh I love that paper love 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 that um, that print even this pumpkins kind of cute fall days oh that's really that is what I am ready for Tom on autumn days so that gives me some stuff to play with so I'm gonna go ahead and move that aside I really want to use this um, design here. You know, I can't think of what it's called right off. Argyle. That's it. I should know that. I have tons of sweaters that are Argyle. But I want to really... Because I could actually use this as... I always kind of like have a like a little quote in there. But it may be too big. But I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the roundness of it. You may not get to use that autumn days. So we're going to go with that. And I'm feeling the need to add some, like, maybe a paper doily. And then, okay, I think that's going to look pretty good. We'll, we're going to start with that one. This looks like it's a tag, so I might go ahead and add, I like, as you can see right over here, I've added like different type of um, strings and um, this little pom-pom ribbon. So I think I'm going to do that same thing for here. So get my glue out. And I'm just going to add some some glue to that and then come in here and cut the excess off and of course save it because you know you always can have other spaces for it and then I'm going to add this argyle print And then I think I'm going to go ahead and add some little rib, some little twine. And I have this red twine that I'm going to, I'll put on. I like adding little twine to the pages. Just like that. I basically kind of doubled it up and then just ran it through Ooh, what happened here well it didn't quite stay doubled up but I'll just trim off that extra just adds a little something don't you think and then and plus I like the way it kind of just kind of adds to the to the junk journaling type of look to this then I'm gonna add the fall days die cut I'm actually going to write on that tag, so I wanted to make sure I kept a space. Okay, so let's add uh, some leaves that we created using watercolor. And I just kind of want to have them flurrying about. The sad thing here is in, in where we live, I mean, we've got beautiful oak trees, but and not that I want them to shed their leaves by all means I mean it's a natural part of thing but they don't start shedding until usually it's around like Thanksgiving um, even um, in the what do you call it in in December is when we really start seeing the leaves start changing 
So now in September there is a particular one that I do see and I'm always like taking a picture of it because I'm like, ooh, fall's almost here. So and I'm just gonna add these kind of flurrying about, you know, like they really are um flurrying in the let's see how that looks. I might need to add a couple more over here. Okay, let's just kind of go with that. And if we need to add more, we can add more. I think what I'm going to do is, let me see. I still feel like even though I know I wasn't going to add my border, I think it's become a habit for me to have a little thin border around the edges of my journaling page. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to take this. Excuse my arm one second. I'm going to grab this over here. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of trim. I think I'm going to bring in that yellow. And I just got a real thin brush and I'm just going ever so slightly down the edges. I just like the way a border looks. And sometimes I can come in here and just do like spaces. You don't have to be totally precise. I just love watercolor because it is very forgiving. but I think it's just, it makes me feel better if I have a border on this. It likes, I like that look, so, okay. And you know, if you don't have markers, you know, you could even, I'll tell you like what I like to do is I like to just basically get some watercolor on the tip of my brush and just kind of splatter it about. And then you have kind of that look as well, like a little, you could even, if you didn't have the markers for the tree or anything, you could use watercolor, you could use acrylic, pens, um, whatever you may have. Oh, you know what? Oh, didn't mean to hit my table because I just got all excited, but I went and bought paper today and I'm so excited. I found a date stamp. Finally, I've been looking for one. I was going to order one off Amazon and they had them at my Staples. And so I'm going to use it. And I'm actually going to date this tomorrow because um, today's the 17th because this will be my journaling day for tomorrow. So I'm going to go and journal in the other one. And I have up till when does this end? Oops. 2022. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to date that in here. Um, but really and truly what I want to do here is I'm going to put ready. And then that way. Oh, I shouldn't have used that marker. Maybe I can change it up a bit. And then it doesn't seem like... And if I had a little, my little, the little four, you know, the, like you could get your, I don't think I have one handy here, but uh, stickers that say four, I might come back in here and do that when I have a moment to look for them. Um, just those little square stickers I'll put for here. Then, let's see here, what else can we do? Um, I think I'm going to add, sorry I see glue stuck there. I think I'm just going to add some little, um, I think I'm going to do green. We need some green on this page. I'm going to add little green dots around the four, the little I might just put some along here just to kind of add some different colors in. Alrighty, let's see what you got. I think that looks pretty good. Like I said, I just really wanted to come in here. I wanted to create a video. 
um, just to kind of keep, keep, you know, show you my processes. And I really am ready for fall, and I was dreaming about using that tree stamp. And so I said, I'm going to just plug in my video. So I have August 17th. Let me test this out, too, because I'm not too sure. Oh, I love this. I, I, I think I mentioned in my last video, I have that Heidi Swat one, but it's just, you got to be right on. It's because it's so thin. And I do like the look for um, certain, uh, certain, you know, pages and things like that. But I really like this, this simple stamp here. I bought my washi out because you know every page needs a little bit of washi so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well let's see here August so I'm gonna put my date down here because again that other side's kind of bulky there it is I'm so excited I'm so excited I, to find this it's the little things to find that little stamp so I'm just gonna Come in here, and that way it's kind of pronounced, and we know what date it was. And then um, I'm going to underline that August so that way it really stands out. And then I saw my little gingham washi, and I'm going to add it to some of this. And that way it kind of ties in because you have to have a page with washi right right I'll cut that off and then maybe add little little um, leaf over that to kind of give it a layered look and then I think I'm gonna call it good see my little polka dotted my little heart stamp over there saying don't you want to add some little hearts to your page and I think I do but I don't think I have my inks out so that'll be something else I can add off film but all right well ah, that leaf is stuck in there well I hope you're inspired I know this is we're still in August but this this is when I'm dreaming of fall and um I hope you are inspired to create a fall page in your creative journal as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.